Hello, Mrs. Reister. The speaker that I chose to do my TED Talk on is Misha Glennie. And his thesis is that just simply using our criminal system and arresting hackers is not solving any problems. Misha is saying that companies should instead look at hackers as ways to fix their systems and hire them to make their system hacker-proof. It's like the old saying goes, if you can't beat them, you join them. His speech is entitled, Hire the Hackers. Misha captured us the audience's attention by playing an audio clip at the beginning of his speech. This audio clip represented the hackers. Also, there was some humor integrated at the beginning, which allowed him to lock in his audience. I think that Misha maintained his audience's attention because of how interesting the topic was and how he was relating it to things that we can see happening around us every day. This gave us the audience a direct connection with the material, which I think is very important. Again, I think his voice played a big role in keeping his audience's attention because it was dynamic and it was energetic versus someone with a monotone voice. In my opinion, Misha best follow the TED commandment, thou shalt not read thy speech. My reason for saying this is that we could see that this topic was something that Misha was very knowledgeable about and he seamlessly exchanged information with the crowd. This was a plus and we could see that he was extremely comfortable sharing this information. Dynamism, I have to give Misha a solid five just because he had an entertaining tone and was very dynamic. However, he knew when it was necessary to tone down or add more energy. I like this. Some tips that I would say Misha used from Gary Reynolds were, start strong, make good eye contact, and show your passion. He effectively used these techniques to lock in his audience and therefore, had a great speech and a great presentation. From watching Misha's speech, I learned that the tone of your voice is extremely important because though he barely moved around, his dynamics and vocal delivery made up for him standing still. Another key thing that I learned from watching Misha's speech was his eye contact. He hardly, if ever, lost eye contact with his audience. Lastly, I learned that once you're knowledgeable of your topic, you are more comfortable and therefore can dedicate that extra effort to things like improving your eye contact and your vocal dynamics. That's about it. But I learned a lot from him, his movement, the way he, he integrated his jokes. It was all a great learning experience and I think he did a great job with his speech and I really enjoyed it. tip that I would give my classmates for up and coming speeches based on my TED talk are know your topic and be comfortable speaking about it. Be comfortable on the stage and try to talk to your audience rather than recite. It is very important to, to, to gain that connection and just not be up there like you're reading a script. Once they feel that you know what you're talking about, they're going to want to listen because they want to gain that knowledge. This is basically what I learned from watching Misha and this is what I would like my classmates to integrate if I were to tell them tips for their speeches. That's about it. Bye-bye.